diagonal here. So you're not just getting the glutes, but a little bit of outer thigh as well. Yeah. And then you're coming up and you're slightly hinging back. Warm up now. So you should be able to go a bit lower and up, down and up. We don't want to hurt our joints here. It's really a contraction of the glutes. So I'm pressing my heel into the wall in order to push my whole body forward. You're coming down, pressing your heel, push forward, tap. Okay, it's gonna take a few. Bend, press, bend, press. Forward and forward. You should feel your entire back of the leg. And they're just tiny. You might need to readjust. You might need to move your hands up or down a little bit. Bend, press. It's a tiny bend, press, facing down and you're pushing your shoulder down in opposition. Come in and come out with your elbows coming towards your rib cage. It's in, go out slightly, out slightly, in slightly, in slightly, pulse, pulse, push away. Then go out slightly, out slightly, in, lift, straighten and lift. Bend and lift, straighten and lift. Four and heels, one, two, three, four. Try to keep your legs up. Three, four, it's toe, heel, toe, heel. Lift that leg, other side, lift the other leg. So you're lifting everything up, flutter the legs. We hold the legs, come on. Everything up, in and And four and reach other side. Sweeping that arm down and up. Now I'm doing this without holding on and we're going to rotate the knee. Now this is super, super tough. Up and down, up and down. So you're using your fingertips. It's side, it's forward, it's side and in. Your leg, okay? Up, up, two, three, tap down. One, two, three, tap down. Little ones at the top, just let your arm relax the more you're going to feel your oblique working. So you really want higher and push your weight to the back. It's a pulse, pulse, pulse. To behind your knee like we did before and you're squeezing up. So it's on an angle here. You really need to squeeze your weight. And squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Get rid of nice lactic acid buildup that we just your toe, point your toe. I've got one foot stepping in front, a little bit more, and you're slightly, ever so slightly leaning over, trying to keep our knees soft the entire time. A bit of momentum from my arms, and then bouncing slightly. So you're kind of pushing off, walk behind, across, walk behind, across. So it's staying on one side, down and pick it up. Extension, and it's a tiny bend over. Bend more into the supporting leg. And you are circling, keeping the outer thigh facing the ceiling the entire time. Hold. It's up, up, hold. Tiny plie in this knee. You're circling to the front. To the front. Up, up, hold. If you can't, do another set of bent leg as you come up. And you're not fully extending through the legs, you goal post and overhead. So it's down, front, and overhead. And up, down, and up. So try to hold your low plie, and just do circle arms to get rid of some of that lactic acid. Flip our palms in front. We're flipping and pulsing. If you have any problems with your shoulders, Last one, nice. And I'm trying to keep my upper body nice and straight. Other leg, and as it comes in, it's still behind the other leg. Behind, and we're gonna tap and up. Tap and up, so you, we're just gonna go forward and back the tiniest bit. So you're pushing against, come back slightly, keeping the C curve, and then come forward into that O. Side, back, and then center. Come back to the center. It's Back, looking to the side, look to the back. Okay, down and up. Or you could even do single legs like this. Three, two, back, and both. I'm laughing because it's so hard. Two, 
back. Put it 1098 765 4, 3, 2, 1. Point down, overhead and point. So we're plieing two more. Last one and now to the front. So now you can lean into it a little bit more. Three and four. One more time to the back. Two and one. Now we're going to sweep to the front. Sweeping to the front and up. So because these are lightweights, you need to really think about squeezing is in the front heel. Come on. So you need to hinge here in order to get your balance. We're coming back and then back down. So it's up, overhead tricep, and then down. Your spine and neck are in alignment here. Any plie in the front leg, up, out, down, and back. Your rib cage, and you're breathing. So you're really trying to keep your back flat. How? But with your knees hovering, tuck, and then up. We're going to come down dog. We're going to come forward. Arch your back, knee to chest. Arch your back, knee to chest. Down dog. Come forward into the hover. Come out and we're gonna come in. Now if you want to advance this, walk your toe further back, in and in. Rotate, extend and up, in and in. Almost at an L shape, okay? So your feet are almost at an L shape. Down and then open up. Toes together and down and open up. Now down and it's up and it's up. Really lower belly intensive. Reach with this arm. Reach and press, reach and press. And all we're doing is coming down and up. Down and up, side and front. Side and back, side and front. Up and tap, up and tap. Upright and proud through the chest. Down and up three, and twisting the waist to the back. Slide it in. It's side, slide it in, to side, slide it in. It's wide. Sweep in, it's wide. Can you get wider? Passe. Out, in, out, come down, up on the toes, and wide. And sweep, calf raises. Single count. Okay, I'm giving you a little bit of toning in between those larger range of motion exercises. Weight is in the heel of the front leg. Up for two. Down for two. Back for two. Up for two. So it's a similar motion. On. Up for two, three, four. Back for two, three, four. Extend and up. In, extend and up. Both at the same time, tiny bend press. You're coming down a little of the way. Open and open. So you're sweeping your leg out. This is a dynamic stretch for the hamstrings. We did work the leg, back of the leg a lot. Either use your support, or if you prefer not to, just lift up like this. So it's curtsy up. So you're coming into the curtsy and then just stepping instead of coming into a wide plie. But you are trying to make it into a fluid motion. Now you're going to feel it in here as well, in the obliques. Down to meet, back up, up and up, out and in. Down to meet, squeeze it up, up and up, out and in. It's just out and in. So I'm giving you a bit of a break. Come behind as low as you can. Back up, knee toe, knee toe. You need to come back up with your knee in line with your hip. Last bit on this side, knee and toe. We're just going to rotate and squeeze Push that hip to the front and, and it's up, up and up. Now I'm leaning slightly more to this side. For a few more, just extend and in, up and up. Extend and in, and toe. We're going to come up. We're going to extend in line. We're going to come knee and toe. Then it's up and freeze, up and up, back out. Up, up and up, other side. Up, up and up, up and up. Okay, long legs up, up and up. Long leg straight, up and up. So keep your leg turned out as you pull it in and bring your heel slightly in front. Try to keep your leg super straight here and point that toe. It doesn't have to go high, down and back. So as you come down, push those knees back 
and back. Down and back, up on the toes. Get low, down and back, up on the toes. You right and left, right and left, side to side. So pulse and pick it up, release. Tuck it forward, release. Turn, out and in. Wide and turn, wide and in. With these micro movements, this is traditional bar. Push your knees back, down, back and up. Back and back, really squeeze. So knees go back, tuck with the hips. Back, tuck with the hips. Raise, down, raise, in, out. First down, then raise, down, raise, in, out. Just start pulsing and pulsing, pulsing and pulsing. Cool, tummies are in. You're only moving from your waist down. Tuck and tuck. Eight, seven. Are you feeling this? Feeling like a ballerina? Plie. Up, flat footed, then on your toes. But we are doing it to both sides. Down and down. Down, knees back. Just eight, four, five, count. Five, squeeze it. Plie, lunge it, bring it in. You know this move, so make it your own. You want to squeeze your glutes a little bit. Make sure the weight is in your heels, but don't twist your legs. So you're staying in that plie, the back in almost circular fashion, and you're bending into it. And reach, reach. Tiny pulses as you reach in your back. Eight, seven, three, and four. Then it's the same thing. In, slightly squeeze your glutes. They're part of your core, so you may as well. Front, and it's one, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. You're immediately going to feel those inner thighs activating because we already worked them as you reach. So this is similar to what we did. Squeeze against your heels that will activate your inner thighs more. And down and diagonal. So remember that same draping action we talked about. You're going to get a larger range of motion. Glute, extend the leg, squeeze. Five, four, three, two. And you're trying to get into this muffin top area here. Seven, six, five. Imagine you're skiing down the slope and then bending. Bend over, bending directly to the side, not forward or back. 